All right, goal two. Monaco in 88, Senna refused to accept Prost's fastest lap time, he ended up driving completely possessed to best it. Channel that passion and finish with a lap time under a minute 37 on any lap. All right, so it just says finish, so we don't have to necessarily win, I'd assume. We got three laps to finish under a minute 37 at Grand Prix circuit, so most likely it's gonna have to happen on lap two. Oh, it's a rolling start. No, oh, it's maybe we can pop it off in the first lap. Oh, we're starting with a like three second deficit though. also have to kind of maneuver and manage a traffic situation here. So we may get a little bit less than ideal line. Um, Alright, so minute 37. Let's uh, do a little bit of math here. So the, the, the tracks are divided into three sectors, right? So if you can finish each sector around about 32 seconds or so, um, then you would get in around about minute 36. So that's the what you want to be aiming for. And uh, minute 11 in the sector 2 is no good so we know it's not going to happen in lap 1 here so let's see uh, it's going to have to happen on lap 2 or 3 we got the first place so at least we don't have to worry about the traffic ahead uh, 41. So I gotta shave off 4 seconds. And then, of course, um, really, I would think I only need to shave off 1 second because, 1 or 2 seconds, because obviously when I started out the first lap with a rolling start, even with a rolling start, I didn't really cross that the finish line until three seconds, about three seconds in. So, all right, I know it's a little late on the first sector. Um, all right, let's see. 52, all right. 10 seconds, can I make it over to the other side? Seven. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut that last chicane. I don't think I have a luxury of slowing down and doing all that. So, let's see, could we do this? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, there we go. So, um, managed it in a uh, second lap, so didn't have to run full three laps, which is good. So I don't think uh, the car goes into red with two laps at uh, Suzuka, does it? Well, let's have a look at that too. They look fast, don't they? They certainly sound fast. And as always, um, try not to damage your car, because that will slow you down. Even though with these uh, F1 cars, the damages rarely show, or it's harder to tell. 
how much damage your car is incurring uh, from any visual cues but uh, obviously they do so try to avoid crashing so you can uh, get the most out of your car first of all and uh, yeah I'll just uh, learn the track learn the car figure out where you can go uh, flat out and what not but uh, I may have to do something about this uh, car's finish I know it's a uh, it's a legendary car but uh, from the looks of it we got plenty of legends up on uh, out, out in the grid so I'll, I'll yield that spot to my opponents and I'll have to do something about the um, having my car stand out from the crowd a little bit at least so and I will see assuming one of these races I will have to get the car serviced before I get to the last um, goal so maybe I'll get around to playing around with the vinyl a bit in that uh, if I have to wait we'll see nice line too much speed around the hairpins. I don't think you can make this turn uh, going flat out. Uh, exiting if you time it and find the right angle, I think you can. Um, and this one you definitely can. But uh, yeah. I had uh, maybe like a one second plus change to play around at the end, so I wonder if I did not need to cut through the last chicane. Uh, who knows? Oh, it does put the car ever so slightly in red. Ah, just two laps, huh? That seems like... That sounds like it's wearing down car more than usual. Because I feel like normally it takes three laps or four uh, to bring the car into red. But, uh, alright, it is what it is. So, we'll try how the next one goes. Alright, see you there.